Hey everyone, welcome back and happy Sunday. Okay guys, welcome back to Up and Adam channel two. I am sorry that it is so dark in here. Um, we are getting the camera and stuff to read, uh, together, but just bear with me. This should all be done this week. Like I've been telling you guys, we have the blinds in. So now I have my dark out studio that I wanted, but now I just need the lights, but bear with me, bear with me. Now guys, we're back to talk about Vanderpump Rules. If you guys have not already, go ahead, pop off in the comment section. If you're not subscribed, get subscribed. Don't forget to hit that notification bell. And I say, let's jump right in. All right, guys. So we're back first to talk about Lala Kent. Now, thank you to Reality Blurb. The 11th season of Vanderpump Rules is coming to an end on Bravo, and the show is set to take a brief pause. However, reality TV fans started to worry when members of the cast began removing the show from their Instagram bios. Notably, Ariana Maddox was first, and considering how rough the season was, it seemed like maybe this was the precursor to an exit. Now, Lala Kent is addressing fans' concerns, plus she discusses people not separating the show from reality. As fans know, this season of Banner Pump Rules was pretty divided following the affair between Tom Sandoval and Rachel Levis. Of course, Rachel left the show, but Ariana and Tom both remained and even kept their shared home for a time. This all ended in the finale where Ariana broke the fourth wall by telling producers she would not help redeem Tom after how he betrayed her and their relationship. While on an Amazon Live, Lala had this to say after a fan asked about the removal. I've never had it in my bio. I've never had Vanderpump Rules in my Instagram bio, but I did find that strange. I didn't see that they had done it, but I saw like a reel that an influencer had done. Now, for a while in the Q&A, she gets a bit backtracked with the previous question and spends some time talking about the loud hate that she's been receiving. However, she tells fans to keep talking about Vanderpump Rules. I'm going to see if I can't just like play the clip for you guys as long as I can find it. Hold on. Yep. Here we go. Present, share, by wig, hello drama. Oh. Wait, present, share. Oh. Got it, guys because it's not by wig hello drama here we go now present share amazon customer asks why did everyone remove vpr from their instagram bio i've never had it in my bio oh i've never had vanderpump rules in my instagram bio but i did find that strange yeah. i saw that i didn't see that they had done it but i saw like a a reel that that an influencer had did had did <laughs> <laughs> and sorry, the mo the previous question got me like a little a little flustered. Yeah, because I'm so this is not like me. Like I usually go out and I'm like just spewing. This is the first time where like in a way I'm like I'm not going. the The hate for me is so loud, but yet I can't apologize and remedy it. But yet I don't want to like fixate on things where it's strictly opinion. So like, what do you do? Mm -hmm. Well, you retreat and you let everyone calm down a bit. Mm -hmm. Again, I love it though. Keep talking about any pump rules. <laughs> I'm just, it's been a lot. Um, what was the question? Oh, removing from the bio. Oh. I don't know. Everyone else removed it and I'm not quite sure the reason. Amazon customer asks, why did everyone remove VPR from their Instagram bio? I've never had it in my bio. Mm, okay. Well. We're not done. No, no. It seems like it's never done. Now, on top of that, Lala then talks about not being able to separate the show, as we know, but she goes on to say it's wild that this level of enlightenment is happening at the same time that some fans decided to hate her. Hmm. Okay. Well, that's not the only thing. Um, I did want to say that there was a little bit of Jax Taylor shade and Jax was throwing shade over at one of our Vanderpump Rules stars, Tom Schwartz. But 
I think that they always throw shade at each other. I like they look at each other somewhat as like brothers. And they're just like, you know what? We're just going to torment each other. Because that's exactly what it seems like they do. I don't know. But we're going to get into it, I feel. Because why wouldn't we at this point? Now, again, going back to Jax Taylor. I feel like for Jax, he has been very proud of this show and making this show all about him. This is his success story. And the reason I say that is because we know that he had a conversation with Lisa Vanderpump where he was saying, this is my show. I'm the number one guy in the group. But it's like, I don't know, buddy. Are you the number one guy in the group? And is this your show? Because it's kind of looking like it's not at this point. And also, anybody who knows Bravo and knows NBC knows the fact that Jax Taylor, no matter how much pull he wants to pretend like he has, he really does not have that amount of pull. There are bigger conversations being had at bigger tables at NBC. Jax Taylor does not get to decide if all of a sudden he doesn't want to film with Kristen Doty or Janet Caperna. He doesn't get to decide that. If anything, they're probably, I don't even know. I didn't even look at it if they're throwing him a producer credit. But if they throw him a producer credit, it's like a out of good faith. Here you go. Here's a nice credit. It's not really like a, oh my God, I owe you anything because I'm telling you NBC Bravo and the producers do not feel like they owe Jax Taylor anything just to be fair, just to be fair. Now, thank you to realityt.com. The Valley's Jax Taylor is known for laying it all out on the table. And this time he's speaking the truth on Tom Shorts and his new girlfriend, Sophia Scoro. Their relationship is currently garnering heat from reality stars and fans alike because the large age gap between them, 18 years to be exact, but what does Jax think of their age gap? Well, Tom and his girlfriend got jaxed. One thing has remained consistent throughout Vanderpump Rules, and afterward was Jax and Tom's friendship. While Jax went toe-to-toe -to -toe with Tom Sandoval as to who was the number one guy in the group, Shorts was always happy to be number two or three, and this kept any problems between the two of them at bay. Minus the times when Jax and Tom's ex, Katie Maloney, would go at it. However, the good vibes only lasted so long, and Jax had a thing or two to say about Tom's new relationship. Bravo, the Daily Dish, reported Jax's feelings on Tom's age gap with Sophia, and Jax said, when he told me, I go, Tom, how old is she? And he's like, she's almost 25, and I'm like, wait, she's 25? He's like, no, almost. Now, after a bit of interrogation, Jax was able to get Sophia's true age, and Tom told him that she was like 23 and a half, and... Jax replied, I'm like, oh my gosh, she's 23 and a half. This prompted him to add that Sophia was very young and she could be my daughter. Oh, God, not your daughter, bitch. Mm, okay. Jax did note that Sophia was so sweet and he also added about Tom, but he's happy and that's all that matters and ain't that the truth. Um, It doesn't seem like Jax is the most happy for Tom. It seems like he has... A few opinions, but also I think that if you're in Jax's position, have some opinions about yourself before you have opinions about other people. Because right now you have these strong opinions when really it's your marriage that's crumbling right before our very eyes on national television. So I'm just going to leave that there. Now, back to the Lala talking about the Vanderpump rules of it all and the exiting of the bios and Jax Taylor throwing shade. I want to hear what you guys think. So definitely... Pop off in the comment section. If you guys did not catch our Real Housewives of New Jersey recap with Kiki from the Talk of Shame, then definitely go re-catch that. Be a part of the replay crew. I love you guys so much. Smash that like button. Show some love. And we'll see you next time. Bye, guys.